Hey, hey, ready, weirdo dude, back with another episode of Stone Shard Permadeath with the survival challenge. And today we are going to finish the first dungeon at Osberg, so stay tuned. Before we get started, click the like button and subscribe. Important links are in the description. This permadeath survival challenge is complete when all survival skills are attained. Sleeping in taverns and purchasing food, drink, and medical supplies is prohibited. Everything else is permitted. Now on to the video. Alright guys, we are back here. I ran to town. I was a bit of a uh, dingus because I totally forgot to buy arrows and turn into night type. But I did remember that we had these broadhead, which actually should just slice through everybody. Uh, I got disenchantment scroll. Checking some of the containers that we missed uh, on the way. And yeah, we definitely had more dungeon to explore. So let us continue on with that. No problem there. Yeah, we should be good on arrows since I brought the stolen ones. Those don't really sell. Yeah, it's like they don't really sell for very much. And I did not mean to do that. Talk about wasting arrows. Nice. Ah. Nice. I love it. Let's see, he's not in range. I would have to move. Why can't I move over one? Oh, there we go. Now he's in range. But I'm probably going to hit a table or something. Oh, I don't know why he's going that way. I wonder if he's doing that on purpose. Seems like he's a bit of a dingus here. Let's see how close. Okay, we got him pretty good. Spare you? Yeah, likely. As if you would have spared me. Alright, first chest. Ah, uh, peasant scythe. Not very good. Psychopelt. Sight. I'll take it. Better than nothing. Uh, I did kind of decide after rearranging it, I like the idea of having we'll have the row of three for all the three items and then one and two for these bottom two rows. Seem like it might work out a bit better. Oh, well, maybe people get get upset. At least you can make it a little bit closer to what I used to have. There we go. It's like almost the same. How much we got? Two days on those. One day on the big boy. Alright, we are ready for our next round here. Maybe we're not. Ah, oh, I love the shield. Like, the rework of the shield was very needed, and I love that it's so much more realistic. And that, like, you just get that one block, and then you get to build it back up. Ooh, pancakes. Always. I don't care how hungry or not hungry I am. I definitely want to be checking for secret rooms. I have found... I think there was a playthrough where I found a secret room pretty early on. Maybe even in the first dungeon. Oh, we still got this other room too. Ladle, my favorite. It's just what I was looking for. Oh man, we got a second... Oh. Good thing I went down instead of up there. Alright, we got a second level, so... We're pretty good on resources, so let's... uh. Let's check out these other areas that we kind of skipped past. Let's see. Let's try to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought maybe we'd get a good one. Oh, this is not a good setup here. Oh, we're just missing. No, don't whiff. Not the time to whiff, bro. 
get them hits. Don't fumble. Oof. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, go for it, big boy. I forgot we're using the broadhead. That's why I got to get in a little closer. Get some extra leaf shape from our homeboy there. Some booze. Okay, pain management. Ah, uh, some more booze. Eventually, it'll probably be over overrun with booze, but since we don't have that much yet. Okay. Now we know that the run is blessed. Man, we were just slicing through those, uh... Through the broadhead ones. Let's see. Got everything there. Let's go check the next area here. Locked. Nope, nobody here. Double locked. There's a key for every lock. Alright, probably somebody meandering around down here. Or just laying there silently. So that I can shoot them. Ah! You'd think it'd be like guaranteed hit, you know? Oh, he's just like totally confused. I don't know who I am. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, at least he got one. Oh, he's mostly Gonzo. Alright. Yeah, and I mean, the majority of the game is just like crowd control. Because it's so easy to take on like one lumpy head here. He still doesn't see me. I meant to do. Okay. No? Now nah, he's messing with me. There he goes. There we go. Get him. Ah. Uh. This is like the worst position against Lumpy Head, too. That was pretty dangerous. Take my broad head with additional damage. <sighs> Come on, man. There we go. Oh, now he runs. I don't have no arrows left to go with the leaf. Don't run from me! Ah, I thought we would have got him good there. But he's going into the corner. I don't even need to use an arrow. Just give him a little walk a day. Let's see, give me some of my arrows back. Rabbit pelt, not bad. Chalice, better than what we've been seeing. Sometimes it's worth it to break everything, but I don't know. I haven't been about that life lately. All right. I think that's mostly downstairs. Let's see. If you shoot an arrow, so like, oh, nice. Is that prudence? So those are no, so if you shoot a stolen arrow, once you get it back with, once it's gone into somebody and you get it back, it is no longer stolen. That is interesting. Good knowledge to have. Okay. Really? Are we... I think, yep, we cleared it all out. So let's... Let's mosey on down. Let's see how close are we? We're about, uh, about halfway to level 3 already, so that's pretty good. See who we get as boss. Oh man, I almost got like totally owned right there. I'm lucky that that trap didn't go off. Maybe we should. The leaf hit, well, especially since they're not considered stolen anymore. Let's see. Oh yes. Boy fix. 
Let's go. Up. Oh. It's always the fake out. Like, are they gonna switch? Like, are they gonna keep going? Are we done? What are we doing here? What are we doing with my life? No kitchen. No cocina. So it's been a good idea to go this route. There we go. Yeah, definitely don't feel too empowered if you can get through uh, the first dungeon because you can easily get squashed in the next one. Unless they've changed it. They might have tweaked it from what I remember, but... Alright, that door's open. Let's see. It might be boss man. Nah. Ooh. Got him good. Oh, man. That was a nice one. And he's down. Oh, we need to eat, though. Let's overfill. Uh-oh. Don't judge me, bro. I can't dodge as well as I could before. Ate a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's fun to die. I don't even need to do anything. I love when they just explode from the bleed. It's very satisfying. Gooden dog. Okay, we got an area down there. Let's see. Ooh, much better shield. Not even close competition there. And we can get a free uh, necklace here. And then... Yeah, because this one this is, yeah, it's just all around much better. So, so long. It's not often that you luck out like that. I mean, we're starting pretty basic gear for this first dungeon, so maybe that's why, but there's a trap here. Ooh, boss man. Not good. Maybe I can trick him. Ugh. See, sometimes you can kind of fart around. See, he might get kind of stuck. Because you really don't want to fight both of them. Uh, yeah, we don't want to go. Let's see because we can totally take that guy on solo but now that's where the problem is uh, okay let's try to get him with one. Oh no that was bad okay hopefully it's just bro bro nope he's not gonna follow because I can take him on pretty easy Yep, there we go. Maybe he'll be stupid. Oh, we failed. That would have been good to do to boss man, too. Is he just not going to make it? Where are you going? How much longer? Well, the gas killed him. I didn't even have to fight him. It'd be cool if you could rearm some traps. Like, I get a gas trap you wouldn't be able to rearm, but... It'd be kind of cool. Let's see. Do we want to run, I guess, is the question, too. I can't really switch arrows. Let's see, we'll get him one more like this. Hopefully he's not right on us. No! Oh my gosh. Okay. 
take a shot. Missed it. Okay, this is gonna be close. Oh, he's already halfway, at least. Double stun, not good. Oh, oh my gosh, it's close. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, I thought we were already we were already done though. Okay, let's take a sit. Oh my gosh. Definitely got the blood pump in there. Broken leg, but no pain, because I'm a boss like that. Ooh man. Wasn't expecting that kind of fight. All right, what do you drop? Reinforced War Club, I don't know if that, that looks like maybe it could be money. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. The Gudentog. You can probably eat these just to get the inventory space. And then, oh wait. I was trying to do. There we go. Alright. So. Let's go see what our spoils are. We got that door up there too. Well, let's, let's walk around. It's usually the best way to let your leg heal. The more you walk, the more it heals. Obviously. What we got. Oh yeah, I forget about that stuff. Enchantment scroll, probably don't want to waste it. Uh do 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 do. Mead we don't really need. We can get the rope another time. Uh we can definitely eat that. Sort of we can eat that. There you go. Eat it again. Too bad those guys didn't drop a quiver. Would have been nice. Oh, I did forget to mention on my uh, traversal here. We did find a point of interest. So I do think on our way back to town, we'll go see. That might be a camp and we finally have a pretty solid place to, uh, to set up base. Definitely want to check every room of the dungeon here. All right, so nothing too, too extravagant there. Get some stew. Let's uh, keep making ourselves. We're gonna get really grossly fat. Is kind of my plan here. It would be funny if like the more you overeat like that, uh, your character starts getting chubby. And, like the more time you go without eating. Same kind of deal. Alright. Oh, hi, bro. Nah, it didn't work. What well, he's gonna do is... Like, man, I really whiffed both of them. Really? Like, what the... F what the flip? They're like hugging each other or what? Now we start hitting people. You're going down next, bro. It's gotta be the broadhead. See we don't look at the broadhead arrows closely enough. Maybe they, cause when they, when they first had the different types of arrows, the broadhead were beast. Oh, okay. Accuracy does go down. It makes a lot more sense. Combat mastery. It would be cool. Let's see. Five hundo for the book is probably way less if you actually try to sell it. You have to wait for Manshire basically. All right. I remember back in the old days, the bookshelf, that was like, 
your hopes and dreams. You could land something pretty cool from the bookshelf. It's a little bit trickier now. Ah. I do like the additional variety of enemies though. You know, it's slightly hollow when you think about it, but at the same time it is nice to have a little bit of uh, variety. Definitely love all of the artwork by our glorious developers. Hopefully they are all safe. Ooh. These, uh, well, the leather gloves are meh, but these hide boots are pretty solid. Those would be way, let's see, it's 156, 150. He probably won't give me as much as I would get for the, uh, for the hide. Nice. Wasn't even a chest or anything. Definitely continue to eat, uh, stew from the dresser. It's my favorite kind. I know that that was the last of that pick. Uh, un <laughs> unless we luck out, like one of these last ones is going to finally have a crowbar. I think it will be a forever mystery. What is in that? Uh, double onion, double, double blessing. That's how I see it. Come on, give me a lock pick. Give me a... Give me an old piece of meat. Okay, now we're now the game's like, okay, you, you're abusing it a little too much, bro. Like, I just, I never want to go hungry. Oh, it is sad. It does make you wonder what if, like, what could be in there? It could just be a total, like, we could go all the way and it's like an elven citrus, or we could go all the way and it's like a legit body piece that we could use. Like a doublet or something. But it's alright. We'll get over that one chest. Or maybe I'll bring it up in like 10 episodes on my regret. Uh, and you can come back and get all this stuff if you're really that hard up for money. But usually you can... Well, as a range, uh, as a range combatant mostly, we're not really going to have a very high uh, repair bill. Most of our money is going to go into arrows and stuff. Alright. So that went overwhelmingly well. So we'll go up and over. And we'll go see. Maybe we have our camp finally. Or maybe it's like something horrible and we don't want to see. I think if you step on it, it tells you what it is. I can't remember. I was just playing like last week. Let's see. Yeah, we're directly below. So I don't want to go too crazy. But yeah, and if you guys are wondering too, I, I did put a little bit of the, the rules on me. I didn't want to do like a scavenger run because I know we've done that before where it's like, oh, you can only you can only get stuff you find. Um, I felt like this was different. I don't know why part of me was like, I need to do it that way as well. Like, I, I felt like I had to include a scavenger portion of the challenge and I don't know why. Cause it's not really. Oh, OK, don't go too fast. It's not really. It's not, it's not going to help or really add or subtract anything from the playthrough. Okay, I got to move. I'm not hitting nobody with those. There we go. No, 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 no. I saw that wolf move. I don't know if he was moving because he wants to fight. Okay. So we probably want the one with the four arrows, even though it's... Nah, we'll do the two arrows. Okay, so there's a dude there. There's a dude there. Go for this dude first. Alright, quite nice. Switch. There we go. 
He's done, so. Yeah, you weren't going to make it that long, bruh. Alright, let's charge it up. Make some distance. Get at least one arrow in this guy. It's funny though with the new uh, the new sprites for the low level enemies. Sometimes I'm looking at him like, is this like a tough guy or is he like an easy guy? Or... All right, at least we did find a camp. We are literally down to like no arrows though. Hopefully there's not a okay. Nice empty barrel. Can put stuff in. See, let's put that pelt in there. It's pretty sweet. Oh, some free meat. Definitely take that. Nothing in that one. Oh, we don't have any picks either. <laughs> so we'll, uh, what I figured too is one of the problems I was doing in the, my previous attempts was I, every, we just need to go straight back to the camp and sleep till morning before we go to town. Like, there's not really any question about it. All right, let's grab our pelt. And riggedy roll back. It's like pretty much straight shot. And we gotta bring the grain back to the Elda. We will get some extra money for that too, which will be very helpful. Hopefully nothing crazy. And as I said, we do want to... It's kind of like an optional side. Like, there's a few things to do optionally, aside from just um, getting the challenge completed. Um, which includes, like, exploring a lot of the map, if not doing the whole map, if possible. And you know the mountains kind of stop you from fully enjoying that... Uh, the... Uh, what would you call it? Like, the... Um, the satisfying feeling of finishing out the map. This guy didn't even signal he wanted to fight. He's just coming for me. It's like, hey, I saw you from like a mile away and I just had to try to hit you with my with my cudgel. I'm sorry about that. I just had to do it. Your face is just perfect. Perfect shape for my cudgel just to slam across it. Well, I'm surprised that uh, dungeon went pretty well. Got a little close there towards the end. Let's see, what we can ah, oh. my pup. This puppy is so cute. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Doggies are cute. They're not scary. Doggies can't be scary. No, uh, the next time I do a live stream, I will show you guys the puppy. Hopefully you're liking the uh, the new channel art and stuff as well. My cousin is very talented. Uh, if you want a commission or if you're interested in any work being done by her, she does. Uh, she doesn't just do digital media. She does um, paintings and all. She basically does all kinds of stuff. Her and her sisters, very talented. Uh, you, it's in the links. <laughs> the links in my description as usual. So if you are curious. I was almost going to ask her to do a custom thumbnail for every video of the series, but that's pretty intense. Alright, now he's going to want me to do Oak and, the Oak and Barrow, which we'll do that on the next one. What I was thinking, too, is to do it uh, kind of chaotic evil, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what people say when they say stuff like that. But in the sense that we're going we're gonna to burn both bridges... We're going to uh, clean up the brewery, but uh, we're going to hold it against on uh, Odar here. All right, we did slide into Benevolence. Um, we have a few things to sell. We have those nice boots. Let's see if we can get that rolling. Let's see what else he's got. Maybe we're lucky he has Quiver now, uh, now that we upped our reputation. That was the thing, too. I was almost going to do the challenge where it's, like, no quests, but, again, it's just, like, gimping myself for not really good reason. 
All right, infinitely better boots now. Hat, eh. Body piece, what does he got? Two protection, dodge, fumble chance. I do like the fumble chance uh, negative on there. Yeah, the doublet's nice for dodge, but it's not going to be as good. So we'll hold on to it for now. Oh, let's see if uh, that stuff is still seen as stolen. No, the splint we can take. going to start being able to take stuff. Let's take that to sell. Alright. Did we... Hold on. Did we repair everything? No. We definitely need a better belt. No doubt. One of the things we'll do is uh, turn this quest in. That way we can get... Get a necklace from this drunk guy who apparently knows how to use shields. If you didn't know, you can learn how to use shields here. Let's see, you got anything? Nah. Can you work for me? The work is give me booze. Oh, it is actually unidentified. Uh, it's a special one. It didn't used to be like that. I don't know. Maybe you don't always get one like that. Neat. I don't have an ID scroll yet. Nope, we got enchantment and disen disenchantment. Okay. Um, let's go sell to Mr. Blacksmith here. Maybe get a better axe already. Well, a better axe. We're not even using an axe. Um, yeah, because I don't want to use the dagger for the run. I'd prefer to use a one-handed axe, but... That's not quite going to happen yet. Definitely need that. Uh, here, you can take these. I think he will give better on gold. Let's see. Always a good idea to test between the vendors. This is 36 with him. 35, so it's barely, but it's enough that it's noticeable. Alright, that's really... Oh, uh, we'll sell... See, 70 for the silver cup. He'll probably give us slightly better because Bird is just a no neck scumbag, anyways. 73. Yep, so better to sell to him, anyways. He doesn't have anything that would be useful for us. Um, we definitely need to up our arrow game, though. No quiver makes it kind of difficult, so we'll probably. Grab one of each. Got our double onions there. Uh, he shouldn't have any bows that are really going to be better than what I have. Yeah. This one's better. Less uh, accuracy penalty for Derwin's bow. Alright guys. Well, I think we pretty much cleared. Let's see. Can try to Oh, the, the herbalist house. So we can get the backpack. So that's good. You have the witch as well. Let's see, witch is there. Hunting grounds. Everything's getting far away, though. Campsite, herbalist house. What about up here? There's definitely something there. It almost looks like it would be another one. So maybe we're already, like, got a, uh, um, what do you call it? Like, the, the deep or the far dungeons. Um... Yeah, I think we'll wrap it up for uh, for today's playthrough. On the next one, we will uh, continue on and probably get Fate of the Brewery just to open up so we have access to everything. And then we'll probably tune it back a little bit and start trying to focus on the survival piece. But the fast travel is definitely a big part of that. And we can have fun. We'll do the evil, the evil outcome where we bone both. Uh, Krom and Odar. Well, I mean, Odar still gets out. I'm sure a thousand crown isn't really that much to him, but. Alright, guys. Well, thanks for watching. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts on the challenge run. If you think this is a good one or you think it's stupid, let me know. Um, links in the description for Discord for channel art. Um, 
basically anything you would need. Uh, make sure you guys go join Discord. It'll be a lot of fun over there. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one. Peace.